I'm skittish and I get scared by all horror games. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Oh my god, those pants. Stay in the car. Go and ask information. Okay. Let's see. So I'm guessing. Can I go outside? Oh shit, I could. Uh, I could explore, but I probably won't. Okay. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Atlantic Island Park, a tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who used their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all of those who follow after. But it is nice. Can I play with the cars? No. Oh, let's go inside and maybe. Ah, okay, cutscene. What? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! How did he know that? I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. <laughs> okay. So I lost my son too. Oh, I like the shadow. Wait for mommy, Callum! This way! Okay. It's kind of nice. Hmm. Can okay. Oh, here he is. Callum, where are you going? Over There's something here. special about the entrance to an amusement park. A I... line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. Oh, I can't walk. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. The park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. That doesn't look so safe. Oh, fuck. There he is. Oh, 
Oh shit. Hello? Catch me, mommy. Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. Oh, that's very nice. Okay. I kind of want to peek here. Too dark. Okay. Not going in there without a flashlight. <laughs> well, I don't like this. Let's just follow him then. Isn't that the... Uh. Come to mommy, Callum! Over here! Shoe? I think this belongs to Callum. Oh. Okay, I have my son's shoe. Um... That kind of... Stay where you are! Chad the Chipmunk, huh? This way. Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad the Chipmunk welcomes you to Atlantic Island Park. Chad can be seen in daily ice sculpture shows in the following locations. 11 a.m. Sideshow Alley, 1 p.m. The Octotron, 3 p.m. Park Entrance. Oh, what's this? Shad the Shipmunk worst in class, Shad can't even seem to pass, Shad gets angry, likes to fight, Shad is beaten every night, Shad will have a dead end job, Shad will die, a useless slob. I don't think I like that, especially since the picture of him is not very... Uh. Kill him! Oops. Come on, mommy. What's this? Purchased the land of land of Solomon Island for a pittance. I might add. Whatever old Archie Henderson did to the locals, just the mention of his name had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Winter, but the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country. Old man Henderson, did, he did terrible dark things. The land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts of warning me off. I have a great vision of this place, and a will to see that vision through to the very end. Atlantic Island Park. The name is perfect, and I can cannot imagine it being anything else. This is the start of something amazing. I'm freaking out over the sound in the background. Yeah, so I'm I'm probably going to pause this game when I freak out. So typical me. Callum, tell mommy where you are. Tunnels of 
tails. Callum, stay where you are. Okay. Is that somebody? No. <laughs> forest there lived a poor woodcutter his wife and his two children a boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel they were very poor and had very little to bite or suck what will become of us the woodcutter asked his wife one night I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife, I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Hansel oh, broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. my house an old woman emerged from the house sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes oh you dear children who brought you here just come in and stay with me no harm will come to you but Hansel and Gretel stayed back for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing. 
nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. What is that? Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, oh. fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, the opening is here, and she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Yummy. And then, because even oh, children shit. can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Ugh, it's disgusting. I love it. <laughs> okay, so 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 I'm very yeah. 